So I just wanted to do a little update video of my new desk setup that I have here. Uh, I had looked around for video reviews of the Samsung monitor that I bought, monitor slash TV. It's the um, Samsung P2770HD. Ooh, this is the box. It's a 27 inch TV plus monitor. I'm using it purely as a monitor since I also have a different television down here in the basement. And just wanted to show it side by side with my 24 inch Acer, actually 23.5 inch Acer. So you can sort of see the size difference between the two and maybe a little bit of the difference in color reproduction. They're both 1920 by 1080. Took a little bit of tweaking to get the settings to look right on the Samsung. But once I got it set up and working, I've been using it for about three or four days now and I'm pretty content with it. The black levels can be kind of odd sometimes, I think, if you're in a computer game that I've noticed. Sometimes you will need to, you sort of need to turn up the brightness a little bit. But other than that, I would say that it's been pretty satisfactory for me. I also just wanted to go around some of the tech that I've got. This is the Logitech C920 webcam. It's relatively new and I upgraded from the Logitech QuickCam Pro 9000 and the difference has been quite big. I've got a new keyboard and mouse combination in the Corsair 60 series. So this is the 60 series aluminum chassis uh, mechanical keyboard. And here's the M60 mouse which replaced an old Razer mouse. It's got an aluminum body with weights, with a weighting system that you can adjust the weight distribution in the mouse. Uh, I've also got my Fio E7 E9 audio processor there, uh, and then my Yeti microphone. <clears throat> I've also got my headphones here, Bear Dynamic DT990s which I use quite a bit and are very comfortable. I sort of stow them away there in that little drawer spot. So mainly it was to show off the monitor but also show off the new desk space. I also have it set up so I can have a keyboard garage I call it and sort of open up space a little bit more if I want to read or eat a meal here then I have space to do that. One other thing I wanted to mention was the program that I'm using to sort of coordinate my two different monitors. I use Display Fusion. Uh, it's a free program and it lets you do a couple different things. One you can see here I've got two different taskbars, one in each bottom corner. And that makes it really nice so if I minimize a window on the left monitor it goes down into that left area and if I have a window on the right and I minimize it, it stays there in the bottom right. It also lets you spread wallpapers like this. You can also um, set up two different screen savers which uh, is kind of cool. So there you can set up one on each. You sort of have some eye candy to look at while or I guess for when you come back or when you leave your desk, it looks kind of cool. And I think it, you know, if you're going to have two monitors, might as well make them look sweet, right? It's a free program with a pro version, but the free version gives you a lot of items to work with. So I would highly recommend it if you are going to go to a two monitor setup. The picture quality, I think, is quite good. It is still the same resolution, but stretched out. I thought that, that might be an issue, but it really isn't. I think that everything still looks just fine. Um, here's a 720p video playing. Just so you can sort of see the quality of, of the picture. And how big of a difference that is from the 23.5 inch Acer model over there. It does have VESA mounting on the back. There were some people that had mentioned that it didn't. Both of my monitors do do have them, but it's worked fine for me not to not to need to do that. 
But yeah, so that's a bit of the little bit of the performance. Hope that helps if you're considering this. I got it when it went on sale um, on Newegg, and I believe it is sold out now on that particular site. But it went on sale for about 70 bucks less than its normal selling price, so that's why I decided to pick it up. It's hooked up via HDMI, and there are, and the Amazon reviews will let you know how to get the best picture setup. So I hope this helps, and until next video. Thank you.